Today is lecture one of 3D computer and design. We use SolarWorks 2010. First, I will introduce the user interface. Second, I will teach you about the basic concept of 2D sketch. When you want to build the 3D solar models, you need to start from 2D sketch. So please look at the demonstration because I think that one, when you want to start your 3D objects, you need to start from 2D sketch first. So we will start from the path file first. So when you see the bottom up modeling, we have got path file, assembly uh, file and 2D engine joints files. That one is the bottom up modeling. So please look at the path file because the path file we need to start from 2D sketch to build up your 3D models. Let me introduce the user interface first. You can see we have got some of the pull down menu here, like the file, view, you can zoom in, zoom out, insert, we can insert the features, and then the tools, we have got the 2D uh, sketch entities here. So we have got the pull down menu, graphic icon, and then we have got the features manager design tree here on your left hand side. So when you see the user interface, you can see that user interface, it is also similar to Microsoft Office 2010. So please look at the 2D sketch because when you start your 2D sketch, you need to select one of the work panes. We have got three work panes. One is top, front and right. It is the third angle projection. So we can choose one of your web plane to start your 2D sketch here. So I will click into the top web plane and then you can see the sketch. And then when you see the sketch one in your web plane, that means you can sketch the circle rectangle here because 2D we have got the sketch entities like the polygons the rectangular slot here so you can draw the slot the switch slot so I think that one you can use the graphic icons over your pull down menu to do it please look at the example because that one we have got the dimension and some of the relations here and then today we want to teach you some of the skills about how can you start your 2d sketch so please look at that drawing we need to build the free circle first. The circle, the diameter is 35. So we can have the circle in your SOLIDWORKS circle using your origin to make it. The origin is 0, 0, 0. That means x equals to 0, y equals to 0, z equals to 0. So when you just click into your origin and then click into the radius, you can make the radius on your left hand side. 35 divided by 2 because that one is the radius and then you just take OK. Or you can use the smart dimension to make the diameter here, 35, and then take OK to finish it. So when you just want to draw the circle, I think you can draw the circle using the checking line and then you can draw another circle here. So we have got the free circle and then we use the equals because the equals is the equal diameters because the free circles are the same dimension. So when you just right click and then add relation and then you can make that up to that up these two circle for the equal and then you can see the equal relations here and then take OK and then you can right click again for the add relations and then add that one to that one these two circle for the equal and then you can see it make the dimension here so when you draw the line you can just make that point to that point you can have got the tangent here so you can using the QUA, the quadrant for the point. 
and then you can make the dimension from this point to this point is 30 because when you see into your drawing center point to center point is 30 millimeters and then that one is 40 millimeters when you click this two point you can make the smart dimension in between these two circle and then you can make the smart dimension from this point to this point and then is 40 millimeters and then you can also make that one to that one is also 70 millimeters so why when I just change to 70 that circle we have got the same location with that circle because when I draw the circle I use the checking line to draw the circle that means the center line is followed by that checking line so when you change the dimension here when I just make the dimension from this point to this point is also 70 for the millimeters so you do not need to make that dimension because I add the relations in between these two circles so you can draw the line using that one to that one you can see the symbol for the tangent and then click into the tangent point and then escape you can see the tangent to tangent and then you can use the three point art because that one you have got tangent 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 and then that one is the three point art for the radius uh, 50 so we will use another 2d sketch for the three point art the first point second point and then the third point is the direction you just click into that point and then take ok and then we haven't got the relations about the tangents you need to right click right click and then add relations between that arc to that circle for the tangent you can see the tangent relations here and then you can right click again to add the relations in between um, that arc to that circle so you can use the tangent to make it for the relations and then the radius should be 50 millimeters so you can see it will not change the dimension because all of the dimension are black in color because blue in color that means I can change the dimension when I is in blue in color you can see I can change but when I make the smart dimension for that art for the 50 you can see I will change the line from blue in color to black in color because all of the lines are fully constrained right now so we can use the trim the trim I will use the power trim to highlight the line you can see power trim you can trim the function so I think that one black in color you finish the 2d sketch so we need to see the rectangle and then the circle here the rectangle you can use center rectangle because center rectangle you just make the uh, 20 times 30 and then the location here is the 30 so I think that one when you just draw in your solo words you can choose the center rectangle and then using that one for the checking line and then using the smart dimension that one is 30 and then the width is 20 and then that location I think you need to make it for the zero because it will move right now so you need to make the uh, center point to the origin is zero distance and then you can make the smart dimension again in between that one is 30 millimeters so you can see the rectangle we build up all of the dimension here black in color and then how can you build up the circle for the diameter 20 you can draw the circle outside because you can draw the circle outside and then the radius is 10 because I think the diameter is 20 here 
So how can you make the relations in between these two circles? You can right click to add relations again from this circle to this circle for the concentric. Concentric that means it is the same center. So when you make into the concentric, you can see the 20 millimeters. Whatever you you draw it in another place, you can also see the concentric. You can just make some of the relations in between these two circles. So you finish the 2D sketch. And then when you finish the 2D sketch, you can right click to exit the sketch because you have got the exit sketch here and then we have got the features. The features, the extrude is something like when you see my PowerPoint notes, we have got the extrude because we have got extrude base and then extrude balls. I think that one is irregular shape is extrude the base. So you can see extrude is that one. When you have the rectangular shape or irregular shape is extrude base. And then the cylindrical part, I think that one is extrude balls. So when you just using the 3D features, when you exit the sketch, right click to exit the sketch, when you use the extrude balls and base, you can see we can specify the depth of your object because we build from 2D to 3D models. So maybe I make 10 millimeters for the depth of extrusion. When you take OK, is the 3D models. When you click into your space bar, in your keyboard, you can go to the top view and then spacebar again, you can go to the front view and then spacebar again, you can go to the right view and then spacebar again, you can go to the 3D isometric view here because I think we can make some of the zoom in, zoom out because zoom window, you can see zoom to fit that one is zoom to area, is also zoom windows in your uh, AutoCAD. So I think that one you just can make some of the shade with edge or you can make some of the hidden light visibility. So I think that one is the wireframe and then that one is the solid model.